Hey, I'm Jeff Moore and this is Regular Guy DIY. Today we're going to upgrade this plain old thermostat to the new v 4 with built-in Alexa features. I'm going to show you everything from unpacking the box to installation and setup. Be sure to check out my video, five quick and easy DIY projects that you can do to make your life easier and save money. So inside the box, we have our installation instructions. We have our Ecobi 4. We also have a remote temperature sensor that you can put in another room if you have one room that's more or less susceptible to heat than others. Sometimes the location of the Thermostat is not an ideal temperature location. This is also a back mounting bracket. This is optional. If you have damage to the wall or if you just don't want to repaint, you can place your Akobi over this for a more finished look. There we see my camera. We see me. Okay, good. Good, Jeff. This is the back mounting bracket. And this shows all of the uh, wires that we're going to disconnect. They provide you with labels in here so that we can mark the wires that were removed from our old thermostat. They even give you a level in here so you can make sure that it's mounted properly. We have our screws to mount it to the wall. And then this device here, I'm gonna show you what this is a little later on. This is what's necessary if you do not have a C wire. And then this right here is a bracket for the remote temperature sensor if you want to mount it setting up on a tabletop or something like that. So let's get started. These are some of the tools that you might need for installation. A drill for mounting the anchors, a small flathead screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, a hammer, a pencil to mark the wall, and a wire stripper. The first step is to secure power to your thermostat. Now that power is secured, we can safely snap off the front plate. Usually just get a fingernail under there or a flat tip screwdriver to remove the face plate. The Ecobi is a low voltage system, so to check your compatibility, if you have either an L1, L2 connection, high voltage indicator, or if you have 110 or greater voltage here at the thermostat, you may not be compatible. So go to ecobi.com forward slash compatibility to check that out. The next step is to check for compatibility with a C wire, as you see here in the top left. We do have the C wire. If you do not have a C wire, that's when the power extender kit comes in. I'll address that later in the video. As a point of reference, I took a photograph of the wires and the terminals just so I have a future reference when I'm reconnecting the new Akobi. The next step is to remove the wires one by one and we're going to use the labels that they gave us to annotate which wire is which. Because some of these wires were too short, it was hard to put the labels on after unscrewing them from the terminals. So they are um, easily identifiable by color, red, green, orange, and blue. If you're colorblind, you might need to figure out a way to use the labels. Given the damage to our wall, I'm going to go ahead and use the decorative cover. So I'm going to get this centered, kind of eyeballing it, put our mounting screws here.
There we go, nice and snug. Check the level here. Check it once more before we snug it down. Okay, now let's connect our wires. Now the Yakobi has uh, connectors where you just push the wire in, push this little tab back, slide it straight in. And since these were installed on terminals with the screws, the wires themselves are bent. I don't have much excess wire, so I'm gonna do my best to straighten these out. any excess wire just push it gently back into the wall and then we're going to install our Ecobee. So now power has been restored and we have a startup guide that's going to guide us through the process. Only one red wire was connected. It detects wiring on the following terminals and those are all correct. We have no accessories, humidifiers, dehumidifiers installed. Prefer Fahrenheit, because as Americans, we don't want to conform to the rest of the world. And we have an air-to-air -air heat pump. furnace. So we want the fan controlled by the thermostat. Now let's give it a name. We're going to change it to upstairs. The Akobi connects to your Wi-Fi. That also allows you to take advantage of the Alexa feature. So let's select the Wi-Fi network. Now we're up and running. The only thing left to do is to mount our temperature sensor if you need to do that in another location. In this case, we have the thermostat installed in a common area on the second floor of the house, but we have another room that fluctuates more in temperature, so that's where we're gonna install this remote temperature sensor. If you don't need it, then that's just fine. The next step is to move on with the setup. So installing the temperature sensor is pretty easy. There's a battery installed, so we'll pull this out to activate that. We're going to remove our double stick backing. And I'm going to put this, the door swings here, so I'm going to put it so it's just a little bit out of reach here, but not in the way of the door. If you want, you can add an extra screw in there just to secure it. This is a pretty light little device. Maybe we'll add the screw. Okay, success, now we're ready to go. Alexa, play 80s music.
The Station, All 80s, on Amazon Music. If your old thermostat doesn't have the C-wire, you can check the compatibility on the Ecobee website. You can select the wires that your old system has, and then that will help you with the configuration of the power extender kit. Be sure to install the power extender kit before installing the Ecobee thermostat itself. So the first step is make sure you secure power to the furnace that you're working on. Now this is the circuit panel that we need to get access to. On this particular model furnace, I had to remove the upper cover to get the lower cover off, but it's not really necessary to access this portion of your furnace if you don't have to. Okay, now we're inside the furnace or the air handler, and it may look a little overwhelming at first, but it's really pretty simple. There's just a few wires, four that we're gonna be looking for. Now in this case, you can see this wire running up outside of the air handler and this runs up to the thermostat unit itself. These are the control wires that we're looking for. And we have red, green, get rid of that, red, green, blue, and white. Okay, this was a little more involved than I thought that it might be, but it was actually easy to work out once I kind of sorted out which wires went where. So on the wire jumper side, um, there are two connectors coming into, two wires coming into my air handler. And these exit out through the box and go upstairs. One of these goes to the thermostat. The other one goes to the, uh, the air conditioning condenser that's outside the house. So that helped me to sort out what some of these wires are. If you look at, uh, I'm going to throw this wiring chart up here in just a second so that you can see. There are um, your white, yellow, green, and red that go uh, directly into these connectors here that go to your circuit panel. That's very easy. The next step are the red, white, green, and blue wires that go to the thermostat. And then secondly, you have a white and a red wire that will go to the air conditioning compressor outside the house. So the blue wire to the thermostat and the blue wire uh, from this power extension kit connect to the white wire that goes to your AC unit outside that allows your thermostat to turn that on or off as necessary. And then finally, the yellow wire that comes out of your power extension kit goes to the red wire that goes to your AC compressor outside. So basically, Now it's time to customize your Ecobee configuration on the thermostat or through the app. Both allow for a wide range of configuration and provide information about your home. You can set the temperature range for home and away and create a schedule for home and sleep hours so that you can have your living and sleeping areas set to the perfect temperature for bedtime and when you wake up. You can also set reminders and alerts. So for example, you can set a reminder to replace the ventilation filter or set a temperature alert to let you know if your home is above or below a set temperature. You can view the weather forecast and if you're gonna be gone for a while, just click a button to allow the HVAC to operate more efficiently while you're gone. There's also a home IQ section for those of you who want to analyze how your system is operating. Ecobee also integrates with Apple HomeKit and other smart home apps. If you like what you saw, please give the video a thumbs up and be sure to leave any questions or comments down below. Thank you for watching Regular Guy DIY. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you're notified when there are new videos. Have a great day.